Hello and welcome back. Now, previously we went over health and armor and we briefly glossed over some of these features with the environmental hazards. So what we're going to do today is just go into those in a little bit more depth. So let's move these elevators and platforms back a little bit and we'll try and set up a little bit of a level with some challenges and some things to accomplish. Let's move this ladder blueprint back over there and there we go so let's get rid of this and we'll get back into our interactables and into our environmental hazards now we've got several different types of environmental hazards that are included as part of the kit and we'll go through them one by one so first of all we'll go over the lasers because we've already kind of touched on those in previous episodes so if I bring one of these out into the world and scale it up, we've got a few options we can play with. We've got the beam length um, is the most obvious one. So that controls how long the beam is without scaling the actor itself. We've got some other options. The interval to deal damage at. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this is how often we're going to deal damage to the player. So if we just leave it at one for now, it will deal it once every second. So if we stand in it, it'll deal it once every second. Now, if we were to up that to now, now upping it conversely, it means lowering the number. Zero is obviously the lowest and one is the highest. So if we set it to point two, like this is in seconds. So point two would be every point two of a second, which would work out to five times a second. So now if we walk into it, you can see it deals damage a lot faster. Now, the second option is the amount of damage to deal. So if we have it deal 10 damage every 0.2 of a second and we have 100 health, then within two seconds, we are going to die. So if we just do that, we had some armor. So that mitigated a much of the damage as was discussed in the last video. But as you can see, it very rapidly drained our health. So you can use these two options to determine how often we should deal damage to the player and how much damage we should deal to the player. Now, the next option is the material. So we can change this to various different options. So we could have a blue one, for example. And there we go. Now it's blue. We could change it to yellow. We do have quite a few glow materials. Uh, that's green supplied as standard so we've got another option as well for knock back the player if we tick this then rather than just taking damage it will also knock us back so it does prevent the damage the player from taking damage consistently again and again repeatedly it just knocks them back and they have to keep running into it to continue to take the damage so those are uh the hazard the laser hazards now we do have other hazards that are supplied as part of the kit as well in the form of floor hazards so let's drag a floor hazard out into the world and these work almost identically to the beam hazards so we just position it place it scale it we choose its material so let's say this one we want it to be a slime floor so we'll make it green and there we go now we've got the same options to um, deal damage. So we've got the interval to deal damage to the player. So let's make this a really toxic radioactive sludge. So every 0.1 of a second, the player is gonna be taking five points of damage. And now if we jump over the laser, oh, we're in that floor. It rapidly rinses through our health. And we have died. So that is how easy it is to create laser and floor hazard right another last hazard we have included in the kit is the environmental hazard um that comes with the particle effect so we have these cones that define the area that the player has to be in to take the damage and again we have the same intervals to deal damage at the amount of damage to deal and then also the effect to use so if you wanted an electrical hazard you could have sparks and it has to play when they go near it 
uh, you could change it to something else like uh, flames and then when the player goes into fire it deals amount of damage and you can customize these again with the amount of damage to deal and the interval to deal the damage at and with all of those different features in place you can use it to create different types of hazards throughout the levels very quickly very easily so if we wanted for example this to become lava later on we could just change this glow property to red and we could say it deals 10 damage and we'll have that every 0.1 of a second so this will deal 5 damage 0.1 of a second and hurt us quite considerably this one will kill us a lot faster and there we go we have died and obviously the the kit comes with the health and armor system already intact and programmed which is also easily customizable which will be addressed in a future video but there you go that's how to easily drag drop and implement all these various hazards into your level very easily very quickly and you could also use these hazards to make other things as well as just um environmental hazards so say for example you wanted the player to drop into a bottomless pit so let's get some cubes and we'll scale them appropriately and we'll grab that again we'll duplicate it we'll grab both of these and duplicate it and we'll just create ourselves a cheeky little bottomless pit very quickly so this is just using the the same hazard blueprint only this time rather than making it a cube of lava we'll change this to black i mean obviously you probably wouldn't do this in a real game you'd have like an actual bottomless pit and just put this at the bottom but we'll set the in the interval to deal damage to uh, 0 0.005 so it does it very rapidly and we'll deal a thousand damage each time so let's just create a nice little staircase so we can get up to it and then imagine if this was your bottomless pit we would just run over there Climb the staircase, and we're dead already. <laughs> Obviously, the um, the repeating death noise isn't great, so we'll set that to ten seconds. So it does it once. And there we go. We're dead. And you created yourself a bottomless pit. So you can use these environmental hazards very quickly and easily to create different obstacles for your player to navigate around the level in terms of jumping puzzles and environmental hazards. Um, there are other things included as well. Uh, for example, um, we have, where are they? Explosives, there we go. We've got explosive barrels which I've already been over in a previous video, but yeah, they explode when they're shot or when other explosives go off. And we have placeable things like trip mines and other stuff that you can use to quite very quickly and easily build up your levels. So yeah, I think the next thing we'll go over will be the weapon system and weapon and ammo pickups. But for now, I hope you like, subscribe, consider downloading the project, and I'll see you next time.